Hello and welcome to Bi Excellence Tutorials. At Bi Excellence Tutorials, we offer tutorials, one-on-one uh, -on -one tuitions uh, via Zoom. So if you're interested or you're looking for a tutor to tutor you in physics and mathematics and also chemistry, or you have um, assignments, you want help, you have um, a project, you want help in data analysis using SPSS, you can get in touch with me on the contact details that I've dropped in the description box. Yeah, so in this video, we are going to solve um, the linear, no, 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 the rotation motion question or circular motion. So this question says a wheel starts from rest and rotates with a constant angular acceleration uh, to reach an angular speed of 12 uh, rad per second in three seconds. Find the magnitude of the angular acceleration of the wheel and B, find the angle in radian through which it rotates in this time. Okay, so the first thing you do is to write down to note down the data that you have been given. So here, the data that we have, we have um, the initial angular speed. We've been told that it's coming from rest. So this is zero rad per second. And then we have the final, which is uh, 12 rad per second or radians per second. And we also have time that is three seconds. And this is, we are dealing with a constant angular acceleration. Okay, so what is the angular acceleration? It is the magnitude of the angular acceleration. So angular acceleration is basically the change in uh, angular speed with respect to time. Yes, yeah, so our angular speed is just going to be 12 rad per second minus zero rad per second over time, which is three seconds. So angular speed is basically going to be four rad per square second. Wow. Simple and straightforward, right? Yeah, so the angle in radians. Okay, so we we have the the angular uh, speeds. We have the time. We have the angular acceleration. We can be able also to find the the angle. So this is the angle is actually the angular displacement. So we're going to have angular displacement is equal to. Bet you remember this uh, equation, okay? So angular, we're going to have, this will be zero rad per second, time is three seconds plus half, angular acceleration four rad per square second, and then we multiply by time squared, okay? So what we're going to have this part, the initial part is going to give us zero, the, the first part. It's going to give us zero plus um, 18, right? And we've been taught to give this in radians, so the angle is going to be 18 radians. Okay. So if you've been told to give it in revolutions, you can convert that. In the previous video, I think you saw how we converted um, from radians to revolutions and also to degrees yeah so if you've not yet subscribed to the youtube channel kindly subscribe and don't forget to 
click on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new content on this channel. Thank you.